Hello guys, it's Carl CDC and today I have a super review of three very different bug outs. Um, this is a custom bug out with 20 CV, black coated and black G10 and red horror throughout and a black clip. So it's basically um, something that Zach made and he sent right over to me, which I think is pretty cool. And then another bench made, the S30V half serrated uh, this one has been sharpened before, it looks like. Uh, carbon fiber. Um, and I'm going to notate the maker of the carbon fiber here. And we also have, bug out wise, an S30V blue hardware with aluminum. Again, I'll write the maker here. With aluminum scales um, and a black clip. So these are all bug outs. It's going to be a super review. So let's get right to it. So if you want like all the specs and uh, review of the bug out, there's a ton of them out there. I recommend Sack. He's an expert on uh, bug outs and Benchmade 940s and stuff like that. He he really is the Benchmade guy in terms of, you know, YouTube reviewers. Uh, I actually do shot a pot. I did shoot a podcast with him recently. Uh, Sack from Sack Stuff. It was super fun. And yeah, so let's begin the review of the custom one he made. Uh, so... Personally, I would have done it differently, but I fell in love with this configuration. Uh, the G10 gives it a, a more rigid, a hardier um, feel to it. And again, the, the full review of the bug out, you know, the bug out's an FRN, and it's basically a very good lightweight knife um, for like $120, $130. Uh, this one will run you a little bit more. I haven't done the configuration. But I'm going to do it real quick. Try and figure out how much it is. It's about $180, I think. Cause I, I configured one with green and satin 20 CV. And it came up to that. So, you know. So maybe $200 because of the coating. So I know it might sound like a lot of money. But I think, personally, it's totally worth it. And in fact, that's how I'm going to be getting my bug out. And it's going to be a full custom. And I'm going to have to rethink what colors I'm going with because this knife really changed my mind uh, about bug out in general. So I do recommend it a lot. I mean, the regular FRN bug out is good to go. And there's a ton of variants out there by now. But the custom ones, that's where I would take my money to just because I'm that kind of guy. Like I own a lot of knives and I check a lot of knives out. So I'd like one that I design, for example. Uh, 20 CV is a great uh, steel. It is an upgraded. It's an upgrade from the S30V. Uh, S35VN would be after S30V in terms of um, technological advancement. And 20 CV, and it's in its own category, really. It's a super steel, even in 2020. And it worked just like that. I took it to work every day and I cut boxes and plastics. For those of you that don't know, I am a construction worker. I do test my knives in a construction site or a shop uh, where I do a lot of opening bags, packages, cutting down cardboard, etc. Uh, and so they get a lot of use from a lot of different materials. And let me tell you what, it didn't dull the 20 CV at all. Be sharp, I'll take a page out of my log and joder notebook. Um, Log and Jotter is a company that sends you a notebook or two every single month. I'm on the one notebook a month thing. And yeah, I enjoy it a lot. It's $5. Uh, they're not a sponsor or anything. I'm just saying. Uh, so after a whole week of construction site use, this is what... Uh, it's actually really sharp, but I'm not really great at cutting paper. But as you can see, it, you know, it's not tearing the paper. It doesn't have a paper fa fabric. It just straight up cuts. And that's after a whole week of usage, real, real life usage, opening boxes, cutting them down, opening packages, cutting zip ties, etc. cetera. Um, I didn't cut like any sheetrock. Sometimes I would do that to my knives uh, because of the black coating. And so, yeah, I would, Recommend to buy a custom every day of the week. It's got, you know, the 
deep pocket carry. It's got whatever hardware you want. I mean, it's insane. The access lock is one of the funnest locks. The access lock is one of the fun funnest locks out there. Uh, you can, you know, flick it. You can thumb it open. You can just access open it. You can slow open it. You can grab it open. So many different things you can do with this knife. Uh, the, the bug out is really one of those go-to recommendations from the community. Uh, if there's any top 10 list of any kind, the bug out will probably make it up there. If it's top 10 lightweight knives, it will be there. If it's top 10 EDC knives, it will be there. Top 10 American knives under $200, it will be there. The bug out is really recommendable. Tons of thorough reviews out there. So I'm just talking about the custom. And now I'm going to be talking about... Um, this one in particular this one has carbon fiber scales uh the i don't know the maker but i do recognize these markings i'll write the maker up here and the price if i can find it um these ones i don't like as much i know they they look phenomenal they are awesome if you had many bug outs this would be one of the variants you would have you know sack has a ton of them so i understand it uh, however, I think that it makes the front of the knife a little heavy. Um, and it's a really lightweight knife, but with the carbon fiber scales, it makes it e even lighter and all the weight is in the front. I, I, I just don't particularly like that. It, it feels like I'm not holding the knife. If I can explain myself well, it feels like the, the blade is here and that's all the weight of the knife i mean just the field thing overall it's a badass looking knife the satin s30v blade is phenomenal that again it's got a deep carry pocket clip which is super nice the scales are phenomenal they're done terrifically just very high end very thorough everything about them is perfect it's just not my favorite i think i would go with g10 um i wouldn't go for frn wouldn't go for um carbon fiber uh, G10 is thus far my favorite, but this is a sick looking knife. I I appreciate Zach for sending it over because it's phenomenal to just, you know, hold and look at. Uh, and then the next one is the aluminum ones. And I must um, I must say, I really like them. Um, they re don't remind me of, for example, Protex aluminum scales. It's got its own feeling. It's got its own personality to it i should have brought a sprint out but whatever uh i reviewed it if you guys want to i reviewed a uh, protex sprint i really love that knife um and this these scales again they're made beautifully they're made perfectly uh nothing no gaps no weird lines no imperfections they're just made terrifically well uh taking it in and out of the pocket I, I did um, notice I made some like a rubbing texture right there. Like I buffed them just in and out of the pocket. And I stopped carrying it because it belongs to Sack. And, you know, um, I didn't want to, you know, put too many markings on them. Like I had a good idea of what it felt like carrying it. And I had a good idea of everything about the knife. So, you know, I stopped carrying it. Um... I'm sure he doesn't mind, and I'm sure a lot of you guys realize that if you have a coating on your handle, and as you use it, the coating will wear and make its own patina. Uh, that's something that, as a wallet collector, I would like, you know, all the little lines and scratches and the fact that the sun and the oils of your skin make it darker. So how, how this is covered, it's lighter because it's covered. It doesn't get sun, it doesn't get your your oil from your hands a lot so it's a little bit lighter in there and this gets a lot of your jeans uh, dye on it so it's like really cool to get patina on the stuff you own uh, but I don't want to get too much too much wear on things that don't belong to me and and these three knives I must say I must say it was extremely fun to carry them and 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 and, and to really figure out which bug out I would want. And this is basically the perfect spread. I had uh, interface with the FRN handles before at a store. And I did own the bailout with FRN handles. And it just didn't do it for me. However, these handles 
do it for me. Uh, the aluminum, super sick and probably a little bit out of my price range. Uh, so I would go with the G10. I would go 20 CV, of course, because I, I just fell in love with that metal. And I, I hope you guys, I hope that this was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions about each knife, um, make sure you, you comment down below and ask me, hey, dude, what you think about this, for example. Um, again, the coating on the Benchmade Outlast is probably the same coating as this. And the only thing, by the way, check out that edge. Um, but the only thing that uh, scratched it was cutting into sheetrock for a half day. Uh, I couldn't find my utility knife, so I just used my knife knife to cut sheetrock down and off and stuff like that. Uh, we were remodeling this bedroom or bathroom, I forget. A bathroom, yeah. And yeah, I had to take some drywall out and put some new stuff in. And I used, used this knife. In fact, I used the uh, pry bar to take out the baseboard of the bathroom off. And <laughs> it was just fun. But that was the only thing. Like, I had cut for months with this coating and nothing took it off but sheetrock it actually has fibers in there that are really hard um it's almost like sandpaper where you cut into it so yeah uh, i don't disparage or um, i think the benchmade coating is extremely fine and yeah i recommend it a lot by the way uh size comparison this is the outlast which is not lightweight at all uh, it is a much bigger knife and it's a knife that I enjoy and I carry for work. I don't uh, EDC it outside of work. Uh, it's just so heavy. Uh, but it'd be funny. It'd be funny if I made one, um, just like the Outlast, you know. But I, I actually don't like blacked out stuff. Anywho, I'm, I'm rambling on. Please, guys, have a good day. Uh, that was today's, you know, super bug out video. And I hope you guys have a great day.